Absolutely. Uh, so, hello, welcome to my talk. I am, uh, I'm going to hide this window. Uh, I'm, I'm Nicholas Perez, uh, in Perez on, on, on the internets. Uh, and we're going to talk about, a little bit about uh, CloudPan. Uh, but first, a plug from our sponsors. Um, I, I work for Bookie.com, and uh, I'm not going to tell you to come work for us because that's obvious, because we're awesome. Uh, but you should come to our meet and drink Wednesday night, uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, I think it's Fado's Irish Pub. I don't know, maybe an Austinite knows where that is. Uh, come find me for details. It's on LinkedIn. Uh, I sent it out on my Twitter. I will be more than happy to share that information with you. Uh, so come and, en and enjoy free alcoholic beverages at my company's expense. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be the end of my plug. So uh, who here has ever wanted to try out a bunch of different modules? Like you, you go on to you know, take a look at, at CPAN for something, and you're like, oh, yeah, I want to try all these modules. But then you have to like, yeah, CPAN, yeah, yeah, maybe, do I need to be pseudo to install it? And it's a giant pain in the ass to do that shit. So, um, QA Hackathon last year, uh, I was working on uh, Meta CPAN API Tiny to basically use HTTP Tiny uh, to make calls out to Meta CPAN. And I noticed that uh, Meta CPAN has uh, essentially an API for uh, basically calling down files, like entire contents of a file. And uh, this got the gears turning a little bit. So uh, let's, let's, let's talk about some clouds. Uh, so Meta CPAN uh, is not really a cloud, but it is an API. And people tend to want to make APIs into clouds for some reason. I don't know. I hate that word. So really, this is kind of an irony thing. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so what is Meta CPAN? Uh, Meta CPAN is both uh, an API and a site built on top of that API. Uh, to basically um, implement a way to uh, search and to deliver content related to CPAN modules. So uh, it, it stemmed from uh, not having access to the source code to search.cpan.org, and uh, that made some people grumpy. And so they decided, you know, fuck this, we're just going to do our own, and so they did. Um, why should you use Meta CPAN? Uh, because it's awesome. And it's open source, and you have the full ability to run your own local instance to do what you need to do with it. And uh, I highly recommend it. Um, but how do we use it? Uh, CloudPan is a great way to make a use of Meta CPAN. Uh, and basically, let's 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 talk about how uh, how things work. It's all magic, uh, really, really deep, dark magic that. Um, we'll we'll get into a little bit uh, bit more about magic. Uh, so, who can tell me how an ink hook works? Who has ever written an ink hook for any reason whatsoever? How many hands? Let's see. Okay, so that those are a brave few souls, less than ten that have written an ink hook. Um, so, uh, basically, I had this devious idea at the QA hackathon to uh, write an ink hook that would basically call out to Meta CPAN, uh, to the API, and pull down the whole file for Perl modules that I did not have installed on my system, and load them at runtime. And uh, yes, you heard that correctly. Load code at runtime that I did not have installed on my system. Um, there you go. Um, so, wow, all the way to the questions. It went all the way. Uh, so there's three ways to do an ink hook, basically. You can have a, um, why is my Vroom not working? Ingy, why does Vroom not work? Where are you? He's not watching. Um, anyways, so uh, basically you can do three ways to do an ink hook. You can basically have a code ref, uh, an array ref, uh, or an object. And what that code ref can do, for example, is uh, basically feed a line of code however it's obtained, uh, to, uh, to uh, the interpreter, to the compiler, uh, for it to essentially compile and execute. Uh, you can do an array ref, which is essentially just a code ref with some additional arguments that go with it, and then also an object that implements a, a very simple interface just that's, I think it's like git line or something goofy like that. And uh, oh, look at that. People are tweeting, and it has my name in it. OK. Um, so uh, what does CloudPan do? Um, basically, uh, wow, my slides are just, I have no idea what I was thinking. So what does CloudPan do? Yes, it literally has an ink hook that uh, you, it installs itself at the end, 
Uh, so it goes through all of the other processing to see, hey, does this file actually exist on the file system? No, it doesn't. It hits this one and it goes, ah, let's go out to MetaCPAN and pull it down. Uh, so there you go. How about a live demo? How about that? Who wants to see a live demo of CloudPan? That's right. All of you do. And whether you do or you don't, I'm going to show you anyways. Um, no, why is my REPL not showing up? No, that's terrible. Hold on, I've got a, I've got another, I got another window here. We can, we can, we can use this window. How about that? I know it's very tiny. Let, let me, let me, hold on. Let me make it bigger here. No, no, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. There we go. Ah, there we go. Huge, huge. Oh no, not tiny. He, there we go. All right. Can everyone sort of see that? It's, it's kind of off to the side here. Let me, let me, I'll center it some here. No. <laughs> uh, what a pain in the ass. There we go. That's, that's close enough. There we go. Now we have some contrast. Okay, uh, so I'm using, I'm using Devel REPL. Uh, who here is familiar with Devel REPL? Oh, good. More hands. If you're not familiar with Devel REPL, you're doing something wrong. Um, basically, it's, it's by far the most effective read, execute, print line thing that you can possibly have in Perl. Uh, it's, it's better than doing the one-liners yourself. It maintains state, and uh, it's a bunch of cracked out code written in Moose. So uh, if you like that kind of thing, then that's, that's for you. Uh, so first things first, uh, live demo. Um, just, to sh just to prove that I don't have Dancer, yes, I said Dancer, installed in my system here. Use Dancer, oh, look at that. Can't locate Dancer. I don't have Dancer, but, but watch. I can just use CloudPan here. Capitalization is important. It loads very quickly. Now what happens if I use Dancer? So uh, right now, it is currently downloading uh, all of the dependencies of Dancer uh, and making them available at runtime. Um, thankfully, my internet connection is working. And uh, we'll just have to give it a couple of seconds here, and it'll 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 work itself out here. Um, but uh, yeah, so this devious idea works really well for smaller modules uh, that don't have a lot of dependencies that you want to try out without having to install and clog up your uh, directories or whatever. Uh, I know a lot of people use like Perl Brew, local lib. Who uses Perl Brew? Ah, a lot more hands. How about local lib? Who uses local lib? Ah, good, 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 good. Um, so if you don't want to mess any of that up for whatever reason, then CloudPan is definitely uh, what you want to take a look at. Or you could be crazy like me, uh, a mixture of Perl Brew and, and Git. So I can uh, have a base installation, fork it, and whatever. You're raising your hand. Do you have a question? Oh, so that's the problem. Um, now, I have been thinking of a way to fix that. Uh, Stefan Mueller actually has a, uh, an XSTCC, if you're familiar, it's the tiny C compiler that um, allows you to basically build and do things like that from Perl without having a, a real C compiler installed. Um, and so I was thinking of integrating that in, and when I found XS modules, it would actually do the compilation. Oh, hey, look, it's done. It only took a minute and a half to download everything and troll through all of the dependencies. So uh, now that we have Dancer loaded, uh, let's see here. Do I have a Dancer line saved? I do. So there we go. I'm going to have a hello world. There we go. It has that. Bam, I do a dance. It's got to chew through some more dependencies that it found because, well, it's Dancer. <laughs> And it takes a little bit. OK, there we go. Now it is ready to go. Now let's go over here to the web browser and open up another tab. Localhost 3000. Hello, world. So there you have it. Uh, yes? How about Catalyst? How about Catalyst? <laughs> Shit. Let's try it. It'll take forever. It'll take absolutely forever. Let's see here. You've got access code. Yeah, I don't know. It'll probably barf. But um, yeah, so there you go. A successful live demo. I'm, I'm amazed. Yes, sir? Is that keeping a log somewhere? Uh, no, it is not keeping a log. 
But what you can do is that there is a persistence option. Uh, you can actually tell it to persist the things that it downloads into a directory of your choice, and it will check that directory to see if it's previously downloaded something before. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's bitching about a bunch of stuff. Um, so uh, yes, so you can save it, so that way the next time you execute the script, uh, it'll already have all those downloaded. Um, I've, I've thought about ways of, of, you know, what if you had your own Meta CPAN installation? Uh, what if you wanted to use that to distribute dependencies? And how do you track the cache? And how do you do a bunch of different stuff, authentication, et cetera, et cetera? Uh, as, a, as kind of an easy way to, to basically do deployment of scripts without having to worry about moving all the dependencies over, as long as those dependencies aren't compiled. Um, so there's, there's certainly some, some cool things that you could potentially do with it. Uh, I use it mainly as a development tool and I want to try out modules that uh, don't require uh, compilation. Uh, and uh, it tends to work out pretty well for me. Yes, sir? How long does it, so does it disappear when the runtime ends? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it goes away. Unless you give it the, the, per, the, the persistence location option, you feed it a, a hash ref on the use line, and uh, it'll, it'll store stuff in that directory. Any other questions? Yes? So are you actually building it, like in memory? You're uh, actually running make? No, no, no. I'm not even doing that. Because see, that's, that's the great thing. So like, what you can do is, hold on. Let, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me show you. If you go uh, metacpan.org, file, uh, moo, pm, will that work? No, no. Okay, so there's a, is it underscore? I forget what the actual API is, but you can, it's the, it's the same thing when you do a, um, if you come in here and you go to moo and you say, hey, I want to view the source for this sucker. And uh, th this is exactly what it's basically doing. It's, doing. it's doing an API call that returns the raw contents of a module that uh, is, has been indexed. So that's essentially how it does the right thing. So it, it uh, pulls in all of the code and then it, it feeds it in uh, via code ref into the Perl interpreter and then, that's, and then it just goes from there. I saw another question. Yes. Oh, you use CPANM, of course. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could do it as as a as a one-liner. You could uh, that the code is incredibly small, uh, so you could pull it down with wget, pipe it into Perl, whatever, uh, and it it, could, it would just work. There's nothing nothing fancy or complicated about it. Uh, you might, HTTP Tiny is supposed to be part of the core. Uh, I think in, at 5.18 it should be in core. I don't, or maybe it's 5.16, I forget. Uh, MetaCPAN API Tiny is what it uses, so you'd have to, you'd have to resolve that dependency. Um, but uh, you could probably do it on one liner. Any other questions? Comments? Do we want to see some IRC for the next, I don't know. Five minutes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So um, I have to work with Windows. Yeah. And um, is it possible to, for example, a strawberry curl distribution? If there were um, a pre-compiled uh, version of a certain module, would it be possible to modify this so that it could pull down the pre-compiled version? Would you do that? <sighs> Possibly. Like you can, it, if the 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 MetaCPAN API, you can tell it to pull down like packages and tarballs and things like that. Um, or, I don't know. I don't. We'd have to. We'd have to take a look at it and see. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. We could. We could probably figure something. Out. Ah. And of course, I can't type it in right either because I'm on stage and I get nervous. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah, the the Incook thing, it's, and it's actually it's actually fairly well documented. Um, if when, you when did Incook become available? Which forever? Forever, yeah. It's it's been a mechanism that's been around. Very few people know and and understand what the Incook thing is is doing. So, uh, I think we were able to stuff in code refs back when I, I forget five something. But it's been it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can do that.
That's it, like literally. So you've got a you have a, be, a begin that basically stuffs stuff into into ink. It has this stuff here, and then uh, you know fetch from MetaCPan. Just a, I just abstracted that into a into a simple little method, and then here's the import and what the import actually does. Hello, Joe's Barn Grill. Maybe I should take a phone call. Maybe that'd be good. Yeah. How are you determining uh, additional dependencies? Uh, it's, it's actually a very simple uh, process because uh, every additional dependency, uh, every use statement, every require, whatever, goes back into the same ink hook uh, mechanism. So it ends up being somewhat recursive. It would do the same thing because it, re it relies on the same uh, ink hook mechanism. It's still going to check ink. I can I can prove it if you so desire. What do you What do you want? Want to try Want to try it with like class load or something? No, right there, right there, in that. Yeah. Error. Yeah, with with this one, I, I I'm not entirely sure Musex role with overloading on particularly what the problem is. It probably had an issue with uh, pulling in something. Yeah, it's 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 looking for some excess or something. So the, the module's not loaded. So, um, but if we wanted to use something like what is it, class load, something like that, and then we did um, what is it, load, load class, load class, yeah, and we gave it something like uh, someone give me give me a self con uh, what Acme bleach. Is it like that or is it like that? Raffle everywhere. Raffle everywhere? I can't spell. Someone put it on IRC. <laughs> I mean, really. Someone help me out here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm just going to copy paste this crap in here. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, and now we have to swear. That's right. Oh, it doesn't have load. Probably because I didn't. Do I need to? Do I need to do this? Load class. Does that? There we go. Uh, okay, let's find out. I guess I could just do this. So it's got a whole bunch of crap in here. Yeah, file 10, it's got some develop caller, it's got all the PPI shit, it's got all the moose shit, it's got, see look, there's cloud pan. But yeah, so it's how many? 200 and some odd? I don't know. There's a whole bunch in there. Yeah, I just I just dumps it in there. Any other questions? Y'all are lively. I don't get this normally. Yeah, yeah. How do I sleep at night? I smoke lots of weed. It's very sleepless here in Austin. My employer is going to be so pissed at me. Um, <laughs> any other questions? Okay. Um, well, then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Then uh, reminder: come find me Wednesday night drinks booking.com. We're hiring. I would love to have a chat with you. Uh, and uh, that'll be the end. That's right. Look at all those pluses. What's my karma? Let's find out. Dipsy. What's my karma? Karma me. It, yeah, it has. Look at that. Negative 99. I win. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you want to come find me, talk to me, buy me a beer, I'll be more than happy to drink it. The end. <laughs>